In this short video, I'm going to show you how I use, or one of the ways that I use ChatGPT in my work. So this is a very good example, and probably uh, the takeaway message from this video is gonna be really important, and I'm actually gonna highlight or insist uh, on it later. So uh, basically, I'm using uh, ChatGPT as a starting point to get deeper into different topics or into different research. So just as a starting point, like in this case, I want to know more about encryption and I'm asking how uh, does encryption work. And I've got another ChatGPT window open to see what happens if, um, to, to see whether or not uh, uh, the AI or the model, the language model is actually consistent uh, between uh, or with its answers. Also, I've actually, uh, I actually wanted to do it in another window because I want to, um, uh, because sometimes the generation can be very laggy, especially as it's been the case for many people uh, these days. And if the generation is laggy, we'll just revert to these, uh, to these uh, generations. So, how does encryption work? Encryption is a way of encoding information, blah, blah, blah. The key is typically, so someone who has the key, the key is typically a string of characters. So we know uh, encryption works with a key. A, use, a user will apply the key to the original information, creating a coded message. So the message is sent to someone else who can use the key to decrypt the information and read the original message. So this is a type of encryption. This is, um, maybe this is not the best way to define encryption. I really love the way it uh, told me about encryption in this one. Encryption is the process of encoding information that only authorized parties can access it. This is typically done by using a key. All right, so as I was saying, I keep getting interrupted. So this is typically done. Encryption is done using a key, which is a string of bits that is used to encrypt the plain text into ciphertext and then decrypt the ciphertext back into the original plain text. Again, this is just a better definition of encryption. It's not the best. The key is typically kept secret while the ciphertext is made publicly available. This is especially true for a type of encryption. Now, next, uh, I asked how is encryption used uh, and implemented in mobile applications? Let's actually input that again. So how is encryption used and implemented in mobile applications? And here we've got an answer uh, to protect sensitive information such as user passwords, personal data, financial information, blah, blah, blah. This is typically done by, increment, by implementing an encryption algorithm in the Apsys code, which encodes sensitive information before it is stored on the device. When the information is needed, the app uses the same encryption algorithm and key to decrypt the information and make it accessible to the user. Now, let's see what we get here. The same thing when a user enters their password. This is just an example. To implement encryption in a mobile application, developers can use several encryption algorithms. Okay. The key that is used to encrypt the information is typically uh, generated by the app and is unique to each user. This is when it comes to, to maybe it's better said to each device. This means that even if someone were to intercept uh, the encrypted information, they would not be able to decrypt it without the key. All right, so we have uh, good information when it comes to how it is implemented in mobile applications. And they're talking about storing it on the device. Where exactly is the decryption key stored? So let's actually input the same information. And in this situation, we can see that it's typically stored in a secure location, such as on a hardware security module or in a secure vault. Now, in this case, the algorithm has gone out of context. So it didn't get into the same context of mobile applications. And then I brought it back into context by saying I was talking uh, your example I was talking about your example of encryption in mobile applications. Where is the key stored? And then 
the algorithm or chat GPT answered in context. So in this situation, uh, the exact location can vary depend on the specific implementation of encryption. The key may be stored on the user's device while others on an app server. If the key stored on the device is stored in a secure location where is, it isn't accessible to other apps or to the users themselves. Okay, so this prevents from being stored. If it's stored on the server, blah, blah, blah. In both cases, the key is typically encrypted itself. All right, now in the previous, um, in the previous generation, ChatGPT told us about a hardware-backed key store. So let's see if we can get it to give us the same information. So the exact location where the decryption key is stored can vary on the specific implementation of the encryption. So if the key is stored on the user's device, let's let's say let's say the key is stored on the user user's device where will it exactly be stored let's see if if we can get it to tell us that it is stored in the um, in the hardware backed key store or anything about the key store so when the device is stored on the key store, the key store is actually a secure location for cryptographic keys, and this is implemented in the device hardware than in this rather than in the software. It tells us more about the hardware key store, and this is stuff that I didn't know. I didn't know so far, even though I was testing, I was testing the storage and communication in mobile applications. I didn't know. I didn't actually know the intricate details of this. Uh, this exact uh, same thing so in a secure location so this is basically so it tells us about for example on android device the key may be stored in the device hardware back key store okay so we get the key store now what are some vulnerabilities associated with the key store let's ask it this question it tells us about uh, that the device may be compromised if uh, and the, the key store may be compromised if the device is stolen. What are some specialized tools or techniques you were talking about? So I asked context information again. This is a particular concern in the case of devices that have been lost or stolen as the attacker may be able to extract the key from the hardware backed key store by using specialized tools or techniques and i asked them about the specialized tool tools or techniques and it told me about uh, jtag debuggers chip off forensics and fault injection with details to each one in this case the key store is only as secure as the device uh, they are stored on if the device is stolen, an attacker may be able to access the keys in the key store. Additionally, keys, so basically the same answer, key stores are typically managed by the operating system, which means that they are vulnerable to security flaws or vulnerabilities in the operating system itself. So now in this situation, I could ask for more specific types of vulnerabilities and basically get into the same answer like in the previous generation so again the basic idea of this video or about your experience of or any other's experience with chat gpt or other ai language models from OpenAI or other companies is that at this point in time they should only be used just as starting points for further research and not actually taking their generations at face value. This is of tremendous importance.